What's up guys? I know you have not heard about her from me for a long time and I'm really sorry about that. I used to be very active on LinkedIn, but currently I'm a bit busy with a lot of things. So this is a short video to give you an update of what I've been busy with and show you what my project is right now. What I'm doing right now is you so you know that I have a token economics framework, right? That looks at the internal design of an econo of an economy, of a token economy, and understand to understand if it's robust enough, if it's sustainable, if it's well designed, if it's engineered to the outcomes that it wants. And projects can projects can use that to um, enhance their engineering or design of their internal model. And other people like VCs or investors or just you know regular people who are interested in the projects can use that to analyze if this project is good enough. But I realized that it's not good enough because it can be very technical, it can be really difficult to understand how it works because it's, it's just really nerdy. So I was figuring, figuring out how can I you know, add value to people with this framework. Then I came up with an idea that I, I will create an independent risk score for projects. How does it work? It comes in two ways. One is an internal risk that uses the framework to analyze how well the internal, internal economy is being designed and what's the risk associated to it or how risky it is and an external risk score that looks at the business model, the financials, the team, and all these kind of variables that um, I, had a, I had a luxury of speaking to a lot of VCs for the past month, of uh, VCs, capital funds, investors, and it gave me a lot of inputs to figure out this framework for external risk. So I combined these two risks together to create a score. So think of SMP's, uh, SMP or Fitch or Moody's score, like triple A to a B minus, that kind of score that gives you an idea of what the risk is like. So that's what I've been doing for this, if, uh, these different projects and also to come up with the different, uh, about four, around 40 variables, at least 40 variables for each internal risk and external risk. Combine them together using um, a matrix and to give them a score. Any outcome is something like, the outcome is something like this. I will create a token opinion paper for projects. I'm not showing this project, I'm just giving you an example. So yeah, don't read too much into it. I'll just give you an example of what it looks like. So this, this project is um, in this range of triple B and B minus because uh, the internal risk, the external risk is a medium and internal risk is medium. And we're looking at a pre-fundraising stage, a pre-IO stage. So there, there are going to be four stages to these token opinion pieces. The first one is pre-fundraising. The second is post-fundraising. The third is 100 days after listing. And the fourth is like an annual, annual um, report or annual opinion piece to understand or to, almost to track what is the, the risk score associated with this project. There is a rating and a recommendation. Um, so overall opinion about the company, about the project, and then the risk analysis. So the risk analysis, as I mentioned, looks at internal risk. We want to evaluate the internal um, economics of the token ecosystem. What are the pros, the cons? And then we also look at the external risk, which is the evaluation of business and financial profile. So uh, pros and cons, and these are based on you know the success matrix that VCs and capitals, uh, capital funds and investors look at, as well as the next steps as for, for traditional or like for regular investors like you and me to look at. And then I get um, just a small little box for token information because this is pre-fundraising. I don't have a lot of information. I just give you the information that's available and a little conclusion. So this is the token opinion piece. Um, yeah, I have one in English and I also have one in Chinese. If you prefer to read in Mandarin, you can just go and read that because it's, um, yeah, just want to make it more friendly. It's, it's not um, an environment just for English speaking people, right? So yeah, I think in English and I type it out in Chinese. So if there's some weird uh, stru sentence structure, please let me know and I can edit that. And this is, this is the, the general idea. Why, do I, why am I doing this? It's because I want to prove, not verify, right? Uh, I, don't, I want to verify and not let people just trust the framework that I have, but to verify that the framework actually works. And I'm going to be you know, continuously observing and following up with all these scores that I've had together with the kind of the data, the project, or the market sentiment that that project has to correlate them and understand how well does, does this risk profile um, show, how well does this risk profile reflect in the investment thesis and investment analysis. It, 
this is also using two approaches. One is the fundamental um, investment approach that you know uh, Warren Buffett uses, and the quantitative um, quantitative analysis and prediction that uh, Renaissance Technology uses. Try to combine them together, as well as all the economic fundamentals and data that is being collected, or data that is associated with the economic fundamentals, and it's almost like an interdisciplinary. Um, little framework that combines all of these together. So that's what I've been doing. I've got a few more projects that are that will be um, being will be analyzed for the next few next few days, and then I'll be tracking. So if you're interested in that, um, let's see if we can do something together. Otherwise, all the papers are available on economicsdesign.com/portfolio, and you have all the other papers. So the token opinion paper is a two pager. That's for you know general people who are interested in the project and want to understand what's the risk risk like. The token of economics report is something like a white paper, but it's a very technical white paper that only talks about what is the internal economic design of these projects. So these are two different papers for two different purposes. And I would say probably the token opinion paper is a bit more of you know, short-term um, trading or investment versus the economics opinion paper or report that's a bit more long-term because you want to understand how well it's being designed. So that's what I've been doing so far, and I'll be tracking them for maybe another three more months to get some data and feedback and to analyze if it works or not and what's the correlation and all that kind of data. So I'll be verifying my framework and I'll show it to you and see and show you how it works. And, and well, to them, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below and I'll update you when I have more, more information. Uh, to this, see you. Bye-bye.